Hello, I am Saris. I'm one of the six architects for Cosmeteer, which means I have access to the modern version of Cosmeteer, which you're currently looking at. Today, I'm going to be going over armor weaving, which is how you effectively increase your health without changing anything other than the arrangement of how you've placed your armor. So the first thing I'm going to do is show the thumbnail ships and demonstrate what they were about. So I have three armor selections here, 1x1 tiles, 2x1 tiles, and 2x1 tiles in the interwoven style, as it's called. And you will quickly see that the left side will be penetrated the first, where the projectiles can start hitting the ship behind the armor, and the right side will take the longest. And the reasoning for this is, of course, the armor arrangement. It matters a lot. A lot of new players would not be able to guess how important this actually is. Because clearly, it's already demonstrated that the right side is clearly the superior option if you're trying to defend against weaponry. It took the longest to get through. And you see, this side took three and a half armor tiles. That's all it took for the enemy to get through it. And this one, only four 2x1 armor tiles. And this one took five. And that is because it is the armor arrangement. And it forces your opponent to go through as many tiles of armor as possible. Which is always what you want. You want to survive the longest, and your enemy would prefer it if you use armor arrangements like this one. Because it's much easier to penetrate and get through. The next thing to show is how... Projectile weapons, such as heavy lasers, still conform to the principle that the armor is easier to get through if it's woven. And this is... I'm demonstrating this because one might think it only applies to lasers. But in actuality, it still applies to projectile weapons, even though they're less direct and more spread out. So I will target these reactors. And it will show how still the armor weaving is very important and still has drastic effects. So you will quickly see that the left half has less armor that the enemy is interacting with. And it'll do this shape where there's like this armor that is not being interacted with at all. And it's also emerging here where these left pillars, left and right pillars, don't have any effective defense. They're not protecting the reactor at all when the weapons are here. But on this right side, you'll see that this tile and this tile have been hurt. There was armor here that is no longer there. Whereas on these two, that armor is very much still completely fine, which is not what you want. Armor is meant to take hits, and you want it to take hits. If it's not taking hits, the armor has been less than useless. It's been negative because it's, it's, it's heavy, and it costs money. So it's basically been exclusively negative if you don't use it. So you can see here that this one has the most remaining HP, which is not what you want. And this one has the least remaining HP because it took the most hits. So see the tiles here, 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 and here, or these on this side, are only damaged on this side because of the armor weaving thing, which forces your opponent to go through it. It's very useful. Very important to have. The next thing to show is how the orientation of the armor is also important. You'll see that this one is technically sideways compared to these lasers, which is not what you want. You want armor to always be facing in the direction of where damage is going to be coming from. So you'll see here that the top one will take longer to get through because it is geared towards taking damage from that direction. This armor is not. It's geared toward taking damage from above or from below, I guess. But it is going to be weaker and less effective from the side. So this is unideal. You always want the orientation to be facing towards the direction of incoming damage. 
which makes it so when you're building your ship and you have like armor surrounding it you want the forward weave to be facing upwards and you want the side weave to be facing sideways so the damage that comes at you from the side is still accounted for with this weaving method so you can't just have like your entire ship have the armor weave pattern facing upwards you need to actively like rotate it as you come around to the side of your ship because as you can see here it has destroyed that reactor before it has destroyed this one because this one was suited towards it and you'll see the same pattern that was demonstrated here like almost exactly like four tiles there and four tiles there so it shows that having it be in the wrong orientation is almost as bad as having it not being there at all it's the same shape where it's like there's all this remaining health versus this which has significantly less remaining health so 13 and 8 versus 18 and 5 which is not very good so you'll see it's still trying to get through and it shows that you have to orient it towards where damage is going to be coming from or where you expect damage to be coming from when you're fighting so for the next part i'm going to demonstrate how this armor weaving can be especially important against rail guns which is something that i'm aware many new players struggle with so i have this pretty large ship up here to fire upon these parts to show that they are more resistant to fanning so you'll see it was already damaged in the first volley the reactor was damaged pretty heavily which means on the second one it would most definitely be damaged so we'll rotate again to fire on this one And you'll notice that this one was also clean shot through. The reactor was not aimed upon well, so it didn't take damage. But that would also have been a very damaging shot. In ideal circumstances, that reactor would have either been destroyed or heavily damaged. So for the last one, the woven one, it will take even less damage. See, look at this. This is ridiculous. Because you see, all this damage that was previously a problem because it hit directly into the reactor is mostly ignored. I bet that this could probably take another volley under the right circumstances and reasonably survive. Which is more than I can say for those two. So you can see it survived... Let's say seven of the eight shots, which for these, they would not survive a single another shot. So these each survived four, and this one survived seven, which shows that armor weaving is still helpful against very powerful weapons, such as railguns, that can easily focus all of their damage into precise locations. Finally, I'm going to show missiles also from this ship. And because they're a bit stranger, I'm going to target the armor tiles next to the reactor instead of the reactor and because of how missiles can be a little bit inconsistent I'm going to be manually firing these just to make sure it's consistent So you'll see that this one is having a little bit more issues than this one even because the missiles were coming in at an angle. So missiles can be very finicky and they are probably one of the least, the weaving armor is probably one of the least effective things against missiles because of they have different and weirder interactions with it. Generally against missiles you would be using spaced armor instead 
to reduce the area of effect damage that missiles have, or nukes for that matter. But it's still kind of showing how weaving armor can have a minimal effect. It isn't going to be the case where one by one armor is going to be better than weaved armor. So you always want to be using weaved armor. Like there's basically no circumstances where it would not be the ideal situation or ideal armor arrangement. So you'll see that the armor tile is still alive here. It's taken longer than the other two. Because it is just, it's just better. That, that's how it is. You should basically always be using this. There's, the only excuse against it is that it takes a little bit longer to do. But it's really easy to set up and has a massive advantage that is just basically free. Like there's no cost to this other than time and a short time at that.